Hey, I'm James, and you're watching Like I'm Yeah. And today on Like I'm Yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to change your PDF view in in Safari. So what first thing I've done is just to get a PDF up is Google PDF, and here we go, PDF view. As you can see here, this isn't the default view for a PDF. This is using Adobe Reader as the PDF view. There are a few ways you can change the view from this back to the normal Adobe, uh, back to the normal default preview style. Now the first one is in Finder. We'll open up a new Finder window, Command N. Bring it over here. We'll go Command Shift G. We'll type in backslash library backslash internet plugins. It'll be down the bottom in the description, so just copy and paste it from there. Once we've done that, click enter or go. And the first thing up here you'll see is Adobe PDF Viewer Plugin. Just delete that. So command delete or right click delete that. Now we can close the final window. We can quit and relaunch Safari. So we'll just go back into that window that we had open last. And as you can see, this is the default window for PDF viewing right there. Now another way to change the default viewing style in Safari is to come up here into Spotlight, search Adobe Reader, go into Adobe Reader Preferences, and then down here under Internet, display PDF in browser using, and then you can select which uh, version you've got. Now click that on, will enable the PDF view um, of the Adobe Reader style and turning that off will enable the default preview style. So we'll turn that on and show you what that looks like. Go back into Safari. And there you go, by turning, by clicking that on, we've got the uh, Adobe Reader style back and if we go back into Adobe Reader, back to Preferences, turn that off, click OK, back into Safari. You can see just by turning that off, we've got it back to the default preview style. So, there you go, Adobe Reader, download link is below the video. I'm, yeah, I reckon it's a better view than this, um, than the default one. You can do more with it. Um, so go download that, and that's how you make Adobe Reader the default reader for Safari's PDF pages. I'm James from Wycom, yeah, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like this video. Bye.